Thank you for tuning in to the Law Nation Films. As we take a deeper look at Cole Beasley, he's the inside slot guy. I'm going to tell you this right now. A linebacker on Cole Beasley is impossible for him to, uh, I guess, stop or slow down Cole Beasley. Now into the inside. Cole Beasley is one of those guys that's going to force the team to move out into like the nickel packages or even dime because they, it requires, it does require a, uh, a DB on Cole Beasley's skill set. His ability to create separation is everything. Playing off on him is like being disrespectful. One-on-one -on -one coverage will be like nightmarish for the actual opposition. Watch how he's able to skirt through. Now, this is an Amari Cooper effect, of course. As he draws in two people. The thing is that I want to show you guys from Cole Beasley is the way he approached the ball. He does not allow the ball to catch his body. He stands his arms and hands out and reaches out to catch the ball. That is how you want your inside guy to catch balls. You want him to be able to reach out and catch the ball with his hands. His, his route nuances is crazy. Mari Cooper is able to suck in these two guys right here. Cole Beasley is able to get the underneath. You can see the way he approached the ball to tack the ball out in space this is how you're supposed to catch a ball in the national football league allow the ball to hit those mittens and then turn up field get those extra yards that is what cole beasley can do now on this play this is a third and goal play believe it or not and it's so far out but we're going to see right here uh cole beasley able to get the separation where he's going to be so wide open that uh you, you can say that man they was giving him this play but what I really want to see from here is this guy right here. He's going to get open. I think that when they moved the, or motioned the tight end into the inside, I wish that they, they drew a better play as far as protection on the outside because all they had to do if, if this tight end was able to pick up the blitzer off the edge here and he was able to kick out, then one can say just maybe, just maybe, they can pump fake and catch the touchdown down the side or, or, or throw the ball deeper down the field. But uh, he was able to get the ball out to Cole Beasley. And also he had pressure in his face. But watch the frustration of Cole Beasley because he know for sure that he had a chance to just really, just really take that ball upfield. But it is what it is at this point. It was a third and goal play. So they, so they gave him all of the underneath. And uh, he was able to get those necessary yards. But watch how you approach, attack upfield, and, and just, I like what Cole Beasley is able to bring out there to the field. He got those type of techniques. He got that skill set in his game, in his arsenal. Now, on this play right here, he just demolished this guy at the tip of his route. Watch. Mm, break at the tip. And he's going to break loose. The guy played into the inside. He's able to swipe away. And the pass to me was just slightly just too high for Cole Beasley to get this ball in stride. Maybe he can take it a little bit further, but he had to adjust to the ball, save his uh, quarterback, and catch this ball out of the air. That's what you want to see. You want a sure hands catcher right here. Watch. The ball was kind of sort uh, too high for him, but he's able to still extend, help his quarterback out. Because if not, this guy maybe can pick the ball off or what have you. But he's able to corral and get, bring the ball home. That's what we like to see. A wide receiver able to take advantages and help the quarterback out off the blitz plate. When he's out here alone by himself, it's nightmarish. He will win nine times out of ten. <laughs> quarterback get cream, still able to get the ball out to Cole Beasley. Now, um, if we look back at everything on this play, we look at everything. This is pretty much a a seven on six well seven on six design they got seven people one two three four five six seven seven in the box one on one on the outside now it's up to the quarterback to see this and make the necessary adjustments and i think that he did because he brought the actual tight end inside to, for block protection and we're going to see let's roll the tape and we'll see right here Kobe is able to catch this ball but let's look at it from the uh, other angle you'll see the quarterback is able to pick this up and he sees seven men in the box rotate the tight end into the inside to help out with the protection uh, call out point out the mic the 26 is the mic call the tight end to bring up extra help into the inside blitz man comes free get the ball out that's textbooks there, but we wish that the uh, a hot read on a tight end on that play because you can get better yardage. But this right here, this is a, a dangerous spot to be at on the offense. 
who you going to go to? Who's your money guy? I'm going to pick out this guy, Cole Beasley, that got us into the inside. The guy that when you try to have him one-on-one, -on -one, man, I'm telling you, he can eat you alive. And that's what he's going to do out for this DB right here. He's going to kill him into the inside, off the line, free release, basically. He respects him. He's not going to try to jam him. He gets this stem out here. And the ball is out. Fit the ball right in there. The unsung hero from last week. He caught these balls in crucial time and crucial elements of the game, especially on those third down plays. He was the guy on this play right here, that third down and long, he was able to get the first down, save the quarterback by plucking the ball out of the sky. I said this all offseason. Your, your receivers at some time got to help the quarterback out. Now, of course, the quarterback have tons and tons of things to improve on, but man, and that Cole Beasley is something nice, right? Uh, I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your opinions of Cole Beasley. Uh, do you think that he's going to be on his team next year and beyond? That's been my time. I really thank you for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the bass. Salute. I'm out. Peace.